Hey, it's Dougie Fresh in the flesh to give you my best at last. Mmm, breath, yes, sizzling, delivering with zeal and zest, shining like the sun, showing you how you can be number one. And then stop until I'm done, dead in the casket. But I got the nail in the casket here with this game changing, practical tool, tip, technique, strategy, ritual. What's a ritual? A ritual is a habit that's sacred to you. It's the gift you give to yourself every day under the Christmas tree of life, right? Or the Hanukkah, just all big uh, men a menorah, menorah, menorah. <laughs> we'll call her menorah a menorah. <laughs> A menorah, like we get gifts for Hanukkah, Christmas. But what if we give ourselves a gift? And I got that. I've been giving myself a gift the last five years. And that's this. Stay fresh. Stay blessed. Success Tracker. It is now live on Amazon. You can get a copy. Why would you get a copy? Well, why would Rocky be Rocky? Why would Rocky step in the wing ring? It's his purpose. So if you want to spread your wings and head to better things, this 2018 into this holiday season and beyond into the into t make this year your best year ever then success track what's success tracking it's above journal above journaling above your sister's diary it's something to get you to stop slacking it's success tracking so it's real quick brief view of it it got virtues Right, you pick your values, goals, gratitude, reps and sets at the gym, space to write and create, book reports, jokes, you know, place you to collect quotes and notes and stories and uh, it has, you know, talks about the power of feedback, talks about gratitude, goal setting, the people you're around, the top five people and you put it all in the journal, in the success tracker. So it's designed, right on the cover, a powerful guide to get you from where you are to where you want to be. So if you want to create a game-changing habit, a new habit, I'm going to talk about you know three tips on how to create habits so you can keep a journal, so you can start meditating, start eating healthier, going to the gym consistently, you know, getting out in nature, traveling to a city every, every, every month. This is my city of Philly right here. And you know, this world's my world. This world's your word, world. It's cold, so my mouth's a little froze. But I truly want to give you the gift of giving to yourself. What habit can you let go of? Because first habit tip is this. If we can let go of something, then we can become a stronger version of ourselves, a bigger, brighter, better version of ourselves. So it's easier to build a habit, if to, to lose a habit, if we're adding a habit. If we just stop a habit, we'll wanna do that habit, and it'll be hard to quit because we're just doing nothing so if we can replace it with another habit then it'll be easier to soar to score to jump and scream and shout and feel like a rocky himself so i highly recommend you to if you want to quit a habit build a habit so what's that habit you're going to build what's the habit you're going to let go of second you know it takes 21 to 30 days some research shows 67 days to build a habit so it takes time, it takes persistence. Failures, failure, 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 quit. Success is failure, 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 success. See the difference, it's persistence. So that's really the big tip there, is be persistent, get support around you, you know, enroll accountability behind you. And you know, Rocky didn't do it alone. He, you know, Rocky too, he has a bunch of people climbing up the steps with him, kids. He has Mickey screaming in his corner. He has his trainers. He has Adrian, right? So become stocky and get that support. Stocky, heavy, heavy in the, in the support. So you can swing like Rocky. So you won't quit like Rocky. Persistence in developing your habit for 2018, whatever that habit might be. Uh, thirdly is be that change. You want to inspire other people? Uh, I learned this the hard way. You know, I think I might think I'm a know-it-all and preach this and that. But what works is when I can be the change I want to see in the world. If, if I tell people to do something, yeah, they, they may whatever, resist it or whatever, they might not 
I can I can't control anyone, so I give that control up. Stampede coming. I can't control the stampede. I can't control other people. I can do my best to inspire and influence them, but the best way is being that change. You want to change your family? Think of someone you want to empower or build a better habit or share something with and care about. Well, you know, if you want to really influence them, influence yourself. When I change, things change for me. When I got better, things got better around me. So if you want to build habits, let's not get bitter, let's get better. Let's not get bitter, let's get better. It's a very clever way to go about it. And, you know, how do you build this habit? Well, do it in the same place, same time of the day. That supports. It becomes a neurological anchor, have a reminder, trigger, phone alarm. You can use, you know, different a cushion to remind you to meditate, right? Carry your pen with you and have your notebook. If you want to you know, get the journal, links in the bio, by the way. Have it right in your pocket or right in your bag, arm's length away. By your bed. And you start to follow through because it's easy. You want to make it easy. Fourth thing is your state. State is a mental snapshot of how you feel. State. Get Tony Robbins pumps people up like this, right? Like climbing the Rocky Steps. This pumps people up. A couple just kissing. It's beautiful. It's great, great energy. Well, what if you can create that energy through your habit to create that state, which is going to be that trigger? But what if every time you get sad or, or lonely, that's your trigger? That's your state that reminds you, oh, let me journal. Every time I get super high and have a big success win, I, I write out four pages. Anytime I get super low and get crushed and lose and fail in some way, or me, that don't need an expectation, I write out four pages and I'm like really gathering, ingraining, cementing the lessons that I'm learning. That's another benefit of it. So you got a couple tips and tools on habits and that's, that, that's stats, that's data, that's facts, that's what works, research back based stuff for you to use so you can build habits for 2018 and one habit I highly recommend you know that's a multiplier like meditation like working out like you know hitting you know eating healthy it's all good for your mindset right? prefrontal cortex these habits the energy the willpower it builds journaling is one of those as well it's not even journaling it's success tracking when you can create the space in the morning or night or whenever lunch break to, to write out what plan, you're doing a few things. One, you're planning for the future, strategizing, executing. So you're creating goals. You're getting clarity on, on what your current life is, being present, letting out emotions, whatever, who you connected with. You're, you're getting really crystal clear and razor sharp on that. Third, you're looking at the past and learning from it. So don't make the same mistakes twice, 10 times, 100 times like most people do. Gather from it. Who keeps a journal? Benjamin Franklin here from Philly keeps a journal. All right, Le freaking uh, LeBron keeps a notebook. We got Benjamin Franklin and Leonardo da Vinci kept journals. Tony Robbins, Jim Rohn, the list goes on and on and on. I want you to keep going on and on. And as if this hill was up and up and up and up and up, I'd keep running. I got my Rocky music. I'm jamming too on the way. Boom, boom, bada, boom. See, for me, it gives me energy when I journal. Because I create so much clarity. It doesn't have to be some hard, boring thing like epic kid that like in philosophy we learn about this guy that pushed up a boulder sentenced to his own hell on earth and he pushed up a boulder and the boulder got to the top of the hill and it would roll down and he just pushed it up again and rolled down he had no purpose and that's what he did cycling you know I journal every night and it's not like that it's complete opposite I get so excited I get so invigorated about oh let me capture what I learned today let me ingrain it let me review it play back the tapes like a movie and you really really gather from the experience you don't want to get through this life Instead, I invite you to gather from it. Consciously being connected to yourself and the world. So that's it, guys. Stay fresh. Stay blessed. Your life is now. And let's make the most of it. We got one to live. If life's worth living, life's worth recording. Uh, also, comment below if you want access to a special Facebook group I'm doing which holds you accountable to journaling for the next 30 days. So comment if you're into that. And the link below, Amazon link. Stay fresh, stay blessed. Find out more on what's in here. It's a great one. I use it myself. Peace.